What's going on guys? XS here at Team Nocturnal again. Today we are going to test out the new EXT Touch Recovery from Man Max. Uh, this is for the HTC Evo 3D. Um, I've just come across this. I haven't been on the forums in a while, so this is new to me. So I've seen this on other devices. Um, from what I understand is it converts your partitions to uh, from EXT3 to EXT4. Which is great because the XT4 is a big performance boost for our phones. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and check it out. I'm going to buy the app. I'm not going to go with the free version. So I'm just going to go out and support the developer. It's only a couple bucks anyway, so it won't hurt me. So um, let's go ahead and give this a try. So basically, what you want to go to is uh, this turn XDA, which I have a link under this video. Um, and it's a preview of the recovery. And it has all the the uh, the features here, okay. And uh, what you want to do is go down to um, go to the download area, and you'll see all downloads are available through e uh, for EXT Recovery Updater. So go ahead and click that, and you can go to this page here. Uh, you get the free version, or you get the fully featured version. Which I'm gonna go the full feature version. So go ahead and click that, and then open the market up, and then uh, go ahead and purchase that real quick. This is EO 3D, continue. Yeah. yeah, complete purchase. Okay. And it should. Yeah, here you go. Got ice cream sandwich running right now. It should be downloading right here. As you can see. That's getting a little, a little blurry out to focus that. But, um. Give me seconds of this thing. Ah, and my phone rebooted. We're on an unstable ice cream sandwich right now, so that's the reason for that. Um, so once this boots back up, we'll go ahead and continue this installation of the recovery. And we'll install a different ROM too. <sighs> Alright. Alright, so the uh, recovery is installed right here. So go ahead and click on that. Accept. Uh, it says thank you very much for supporting for FT recovery. Um, all right, so it says uh, if you are a flashaholic, would you want to consider advanced mode? In this case, yes. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and online install. I'm guessing. Let's try that out. Allow. Connected, yeah, okay, yes. Alright, so it's right now it's in my online database, so go ahead and wait for it to get set up. Okay. Alright, so it says uh, EO3 CMA detected, uh, it is correct. Proceed. So let's go ahead, and we are going to get um, RC3. All right, install. This is uh, pretty wow. Usually, the recovery you would install through um, your bootloader uh, via HBoot. Um, this one's actually installing uh, right through the OS, which is pretty pretty cool. Uh, so we'll go ahead and let this download. Hopefully, uh, this ice cream sandwich ROM won't uh, crash during install and break my phone. That would kind of suck. All right, the download's complete, and it's just on the recovery right now. You do have to be S off um, to to uh, install this, so keep that in mind for your HP 1.5 people out there. Alright guys, um, I got the recovery installed. Um, I had to flash a new ROM because the, uh, the ICS ROM I was running kept giving me a random reboot. So I'm on, uh, on CM7 right now on Evil 3D. So I have the, uh, the 4 x 2 recovery downloaded and installed from the market. And uh, see when you launch it, it has a disclaimer. 
Uh, just basically you got a terms of agreement. Go ahead and set right there. And uh, let's see, he's first target, he's here, so Fashaholic. Um, okay, so basically what it's asking you here is if you want advanced mode or, or regular mode. I'm going to go advanced mode because, you know, that's what I'd rather have. All right. And it's basically is a uh, change log to tell you what's new in here. It has YMAX support now. Um, uh, let's see. It has new languages, new translations. Let's go ahead and OK there. And this is the main screenless recovery. We have uh, online install and upgrade. So if the recovery is out of date, you can click there and uh, give it permission. And what it's going to do, yes. What it's going to do is check the server and see if there's an update out. If there is an update, it will automatically update for you. Uh, it also has uh, where an option in the settings where it will check for updates automatically, so you don't have to do this. You can have it set for every hour, once a day, and, uh, and certain times a day. Um, okay, so um, <clears throat> there's news and updates right there. The recovery menu. You have installs it from SD card. Basically, you have your full recovery menu right inside Android which is really cool. You know, fixed partitions, white menu, all that good stuff. Um, then we have the uh, themes and more. Uh, this is where you can uh, create your own, you can create themes for this and you can flash them and install them from here. Uh, you can get themes from XDA. Uh, there's a link on here uh, for thread, I assume. That would take you right to XDA and show you um, themes you can install for this recovery. I like it the way it is. I think it looks really nice. It's, it's got a nice GUI on there. Um, so I, I'm going to keep it like it is. Uh, bug report contact. Um, basically, if you see a bug on here, you can go ahead and report it. Uh, just give information. If you do report a bug, make sure it's when it's not already posted in the forms. Um, and give a full description, what you're running, what ROM you have on. Just as much info as you can give for the developer because you always want uh, you don't want him guessing, you know, you want him to know exactly what's going on. And if you can provide a log cap, probably, I'm sure it will help him out even more. So, um, you got that. Application settings. Um, basically, it's more like uh, permissions, uh, how you want to start up, if you want like automatic or manual reboot, and so on and so forth. And then, this is just the about menu, tell you what's it about. Um, the website, the email. You know, his Twitter, his Google+, Plus, um, and all that good stuff. So, um, that's it. Um, it's an awesome recovery. I'm going to go ahead and uh, reboot into recovery now, so you can take a look at it uh, from the recovery menu. It's all 100% touchscreen. There's no, you know, volume, power, and all that good stuff. And this thing, I've used it, um, I've used it for about two days now. I uh, got it last night, been using it all day today. And uh, it's it's a great recovery. I absolutely love this thing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and reboot recovery, show you how that looks, and go from there. All right, now we're in the recovery menu. Uh, basically, you have the same options you had when you were in the Android menu, but you have a little more advanced here. Um, you have the reboot menu. You have the install from SD card, toggle USB storage, wiping format. In the wiping format menu, you have factory reset. Uh, basically, what you would have in any standard recovery. Um, you have all the advanced menus. What's really cool about this is it has a format all partitions except SD card. I love that option because that will save so much time instead of going one by one. Just hit that. I hit it twice just to be safe. Um, but yeah, that's that's a great option right there. You can find the whole all partitions and and not worry about you know going one by one. Um, then you have a uh, backup and restore. So you, you know that's basically you have your advanced restore. You can restore a boot system data catch, YMAX. You can do them separately. Um, advanced backup. 
same thing. You can back up certain things that, you know, it's like, I'll hit, uh, let's hit YMAX real quick. And now it's banging up the YMAX, creating the MD5, and it's complete. So now I have the YMAX backed up, so I can go ahead and restore my YMAX if I wanted to. Um, then we have mountain storage, so you can mount your cache data SD card in the system. And you got your info, which is basically your um, your system partitions, how big they are, how much you have free, uh, what ROM you run right now, and um, that that's good that stuff there. At the top here, it shows you your battery level at 76%, and it shows you the time in uh, in uh, world time. So it's 21:46. It's really cool. Um, then you get your power menu, reboot recovery, reboot in the bootloader, reboot power off. So it's 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 a very nice recovery. One option I would love to see on this would be um, if you can select multiple zips like you can on Team Win. You know, so you can like say you're installing like uh, gingerbread or something like a like a um, open source ROM. Uh, you know, you have the G apps and all. And you can just put them in order, but it's no big deal. Um, I love this recovery. I'm not going back to Team Win. This thing is beautiful. Um, it's great. It works off the bat. Um, I did upgrade my partition to EXT4 and installed CM7. It's running flawless. It's, it's running great. Um, it's very fast and stable. This, this is really cool. So right here you have your you can convert your partitions over, fix um, permissions, file system check, and all that good stuff. And you can scroll. It's really cool. It's um, got a really nice graphical interface. I really love this thing. So uh, props to Man Max on this one. Uh, I'll post a link in the fo in the, under this video for his thread. Uh, go ahead and give him thanks. Um, support your developers. Uh, it's only it's only two dollars for his recovery. I highly recommend it. It's not a big deal. He does have a free version out, but the uh, I, I didn't try it. So, um, oh wow, that's nice. So, um, I recommend buying the full version. It's it's great recovery. So this access magical of Team Nocturnal. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you want me to review any of their applications or any tutorial videos, if you need help on anything, go ahead and post it on the forums, and I'll be more than happy to uh, help you out.